Hi, I'm Dave Smith for Police One, and this is Roll Call Reality Training. Now, today we go to Palm Bay, Florida, where a sudden assault by a supposedly handcuffed prisoner leaves an officer in a desperate struggle to keep from being injured. Now, let's start with the actual assault itself. Note the suspect approaches the officer from behind and attempts to use her cuffs as a choking device to injure the officer. The officer instantly reacts, turning and going to the ground as the booking officer and another officer respond. Note as the fight continues that the officer deploying his taser does it as quickly as possible. Now this will limit the injury to our assaulted officer and the point the, the public often misses, it reduces the risk to the subject themselves. The quicker we gain control, the less the liability to the subject we're using force against. Now a tasing officer appears to maintain a drive strength throughout the initial contact. The 42-year-old suspect claims she was so intoxicated she blacked out before and during the attack. The officer is okay, and Palm Bay is reviewing its policies regarding prisoners in a booking area. So let's review the key points from this great example that refreshes our training. First, this reminds us that cuffs are always just temporary restraints. They must be checked regularly. After they're placing them on a subject of the proper tension, always double lock. Second, do you regularly lower your guard when dealing with women? Too many officers find out the hard way that a petite female can do a great deal of damage in a very short time with, without any secondary weapons at all. Her primary weapons, her teeth, her nails, fists, feet, knees can do a lot of damage in a very large officer in a very short time. So this video shows the ferocity and vicious intent of a female prisoner against an officer who was not even involved in her arrest. She just chose to attack our officer. Now, third, furtive moves or gestures can be a key indicator of malice in a suspect and a precursor of an attack. Attend to words, attitudes, and body language throughout a contact with a subject. Trust your gut to tell you when, in fact, something doesn't feel right. Now, remember, this was actually the second approach by the suspect in this situation. Control all assailants as quickly as possible with reasonable force. Now, some may say, the public especially, that tasering a, a female with two large males and a female officer fighting her is unreasonable. Now, the suspect was actually, actually armed with a set of cuffs. Controlling her quickly mitigated the risk to all in the fight, including her. And finally, our officer, when she was assaulted, went in the instant mode, fighting as the famous saying, the proverbial raccoon in a dumpster, right? Hank Hayes' famous saying, well, that's exactly what she did. When the officer feels the, the threat, she immediately turns and drops the suspect to the ground. And the control is made by the other officers coming around and assisting. So here's your homework. Get with your squad. Watch this together. Talk about how you deal with in-custody suspects and your attitudes about cuffing females, all these things that we talked about. You know, if you're getting lackadaisical in your cuffing, either your technique or maintaining your surveillance of your cuffs, then be refreshed from this video. If you find yourself lowering your guard against smaller subjects or females, stop it. And again, look for pre-attack cues. Remember, our suspect actually approaches our officer once before the assault. And it's very important that we remember that particular part of the video. The officer turns, puts her in her place, but then gets preoccupied with her own arrest and her own writing. So this is something to be very aware of. Now finally, remember to go to Police One daily for your news, information, and training. And be sure to get the app for your smartphone if you haven't done it already. And finally, whenever you're on patrol, whenever you're in a custodial situation, in fact, whenever you're anywhere in life, think not today. I will not let routine degrade my performance. I'll be prepared. Not today, routine. You will not get me. All right, thank you. Stay safe.